You're watching EOTV. Welcome to EOTV, I'm Andrea Collins. I'm Randall Mauricio, this is your weekly Entrepreneurs Organization webcast. Mm -hmm. And we've got a fantastic show yep. lined up for you this week. Yep, that's right, we'll be hearing from world-renowned photographer, author, director, and speaker, Dewitt Jones. Mm -hmm. He's got some tips for us on the connection between vision and reality, and if you want to see him live, we'll tell you. And he's supposed to be an amazing speaker too. So without further ado, let's get on with the show, huh? Shall we? Do you have a process in place to learn from projects before pursuing the next opportunity within your organization? Former EO member Jim Murphy managed fighter pilots for the Georgia Air National Guard, and debriefing the pilots upon return was a critical part of each mission. Today, Jim shares his tips on debriefing and why, regardless of your industry, you should use a debriefing program to prep your team before moving ahead. Take a look. EO, it's great to be here with you today. Let's talk about flawless execution. Now I'm going to assume that your team has a common planning framework, although that very few companies do. After you plan, it's critical that you brief the main objectives and the individual accountabilities that go into that plan, and then you start executing. Where most companies fail, however, is they don't get their leaders into a room and discuss what happens when the mission is over or the activity is over there's not a continuous improvement process around their daily execution rhythm. If you want to build a world-class organization, debriefing should be part of your DNA. When the mission is over, we hold a nameless, rankless debrief, which means we build a microclimate for success, an area in our building, in our office, in your squadron, so to speak, where people go when the mission is over. Now, there's a process around creating good nameless, rankless debriefings, and we don't have time to go into the details of that. But I do want to encourage you to hold debriefs right when important activities are over. Create this environment that people are okay to open up and admit not only their successes, but maybe the shortfalls. You'll learn a lot about the activity and sometime down the road, your company will be engaged in something similar. DeWitt Jones is a world-famous National Geographic photographer and a columnist for Outdoor Photography magazine. He's also the author of nine books, a director of two Academy Award-nominated films. He's also considered a creativity expert and one of EO's highest-rated speakers. In fact, DeWitt mesmerized audience members during the presentation at the 2009 EO Arizona University. But if you missed them, you can still catch him in Ottawa this summer at the EO Canadian Conference. It's going to be held August 12th to the 15th. Check him out then. As a keynote speaker, Dewitt will headline a stellar learning program that will rival anything you've ever experienced at an EO event. So in this tip of the week, Dewitt shares the connection between vision and reality and the importance of celebrating what is right with the world. Hi, I'm Dewitt Jones, the National Geographic photographer that talked to you in Arizona with a tip of the week. Tip of the week, what I'd like you to think about this week is celebrating what's right with the world. You know, that, that was why, that's why people keep the National Geographics. It's really funny, we throw away the daily newspaper because it's toxic, you know, you don't want that kind of vision around very long. But the people keep the Geographics, support their houses with the Geographics because they celebrate what's right with the world. Now, why is that important? Because vision, our perception, our vision creates reality. And if you have a positive vision, if you go out and celebrate what's right in a given situation rather than griping about what's wrong, that's where you get the energy to fix what's wrong. By celebrating what's right, we find the energy to fix what's wrong. It was a great vision for me shooting for the geographic and it certainly spilled over into the rest of my life. So this week, I'd like you to think about celebrating what's right with the world. Thank you. It's time for a little update on some of our EO chapters. Here's what's been going on around the world in EO, starting in Mexico. 
A group of EO members from Monterrey, Mexico City and Cuatero chapters recently visited Centro Fox, a unique business center in Guanajuato, Mexico. Hosted by the former president and first lady of Mexico, Vincente Fox Quesada and Marta Sahugunde Fox. The EO members were treated to a special dinner and a property tour as part of the program with Centro each month. Earlier this year, EO New York members visited the New York Stock Exchange and received some great feedback on entrepreneurship from Duncan Niederauer, CEO of the New York Stock Exchange. Lastly, EO welcomes a new chapter. EO Quebec launches with 19 new members. Take a look. Um, my experience with EO was probably getting the best friends I've never had uh, in the forum. Uh, seven people working with me in my forum for six, the past six years. And it's been the, the people I trust, I trust the most in my forum, uh, the people that can tell anything on a personal or professional level. Uh, and I've learned so much from them. I think, I hope they've learned from me as well. Uh, but it's the people I can call anytime, 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a, a year, uh, about anything. I trust these people more than anything. And uh, I think that's one of the most valuable things I've learned from EO. Thank you to all of EO's chapters who shared their recent experiences. If you have a story that you would like to see featured on EO TV, please let us know. You can send all stories to EOTV at eonetwork.org. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us this week. Thanks again to Jim Murphy, Do It Jones, for yes. all your expert advice. Yeah, and make sure you tune in next week because we're doing something a little different. We're taking the show on the road. Yeah, you bet. It's going to be a good one. We'll uh, be working out, literally while working on a balance between your office life and a healthy lifestyle. Are you gonna wear a little muscle tee in your tie? Oh, you better know it. We might even break a sweat. <laughs> Not me. No. <laughs> so, Randall, do you have a parting thought for us this week? No. Come on. <laughs> just kidding, what? just kidding. Okay, okay. Uh, to acquire knowledge, one must study. But to acquire wisdom, one must observe. All right, let's see if you're that good on the, in the gym. Oh, you'll see. Oh, I will. You'll be observing Oh, that. okay. And so will you guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> All right.